This is an important distributor road in Sertogenbosch. It looks wide, but it was reconstructed recently. And there is now considerably less asphalt than there was before the redesign. The cycling infrastructure was upgraded in the same project. Because this is also a main cycle route into the city center. The intersection of Ortenseweg and Aartsvertogenlaan was reopened by the alderman for traffic. He summarized the project like this. We staan hier bij een belangrijk project voor de gemeente en hiermee voegen we kwaliteit toe aan de stad. Dit was vroeger een snelweg en nu is het een groene uh, toegangsweg naar de binnenstadsring van 30 kilometer. Veel asfalt eruit, veel groener erbij, meer leefbaar, net zo goed bereikbaar en die stappen proberen we te zetten. He then reopened the intersection by starting the brand new traffic light installation. The state of the art installation is even modern for this city that already has very advanced traffic light installations. The lights respond to the individual road users, give priority to buses, and make it possible for cyclists to use an app to get a green light quicker. The app is not required, there are also detection loops near the lights and at 25 meters ahead of the light, under the top coat of red asphalt. That is all not new in this city, but this installation is solar powered and it has near side pedestrian lights, which are unique for the Netherlands. Pedestrians can no longer see the light turn red while they make their crossing. There was always enough time to do that but not seeing the lights mean they can finish the crossing in a more relaxed way. The major reconstruction started in April 2020, with the removal of the entire former intersection and everything around it. In just a couple of months, the roadway was replaced in two stages. All the cycleways were also completely renewed and connected to the also upgraded surface streets. The intersection had to be closed in sections to do all this work. As usual in the Netherlands, the new curbs were set first. Curbs come prefabricated and they are assembled on site with an integrated rainwater drainage system. People on bikes kept on using the intersection, even when there was only the foundation. Soon the black asphalt of the base layer appeared, followed by the red top layer, street lights and road signs. And finally the overhead traffic signals. Not everything went right. These traffic signs are wrong. Both directions cannot have to yield. The cycleway was supposed to have the right of way, in case the lights don't work. The unintended yield signs are no longer there. Although the intersection turned green quickly, this is not the green that was planned. Over 60 trees still need to be planted together with shrubs and flowers. I expect this intersection to be as green as intended by next spring. Although this is still a major intersection, it is much friendlier to people now.